What's up, Emmanuel Perry? What's going on? Ah, here we go. What's up, beautiful people? Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good day. Good day, Grand Rising to the Kings and Queens and all those in between. I still have a few days. I mean, a few days, a few minutes before, um, before afternoon. So, listen, um, this is a good video. I tagged two people. I tagged two beautiful and amazing people to this video. Uh, Melissa Thomas and Etoya Tales, Etoya Toya Tales Wilson. Um, so, look, to first of all. Let me just give a little shout out before I get into my topic of the day. And she'll probably come in late or see this later. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm repping for my sis today. Uh, my beautiful sister of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. And uh, she's doing her thing with motivational speaking and um, just encouraging people. Her, her goal is to encourage and motivate people, inspire people. Um, so... Toya Tales, uh, you can go to toyatales.com, T-O-I-A, T-A-L-E-S.com. She has her apparel going now. So I have on the one uh, repping the mighty blue and white. <laughs> I just chose this color. Uh, get motivated with Toya Tales. And at the bottom, I love this. I had to pick this one because, oh my God, I've been such on this kick here lately in this journey of self-discovery and self-love and self-knowledge of self. Look at the hashtag, people. Love yourself first. Love yourself first. Is that not in alignment with my Me Monday yesterday, what I've been talking about? So get motivated with Toya Tales. My, my chest, my chesticles is swallowing the width. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, continuing to lose weight. So um, I'm so excited because I'm back in a large shirt these days, a large t-shirt. And I hadn't seen a large t-shirt in years. Like, literally years. Um, I used to wear uh, Aeropostale, or, uh, Aeropostale, or however you say it, shirts, like largest. And they would fit just like this. Oh, showing the guns and stuff. And I'm so excited that I can get in a large now. So, you know, I was talking to my sis, and I was like, yeah, I got a large, and it's scale to size. It fits perfect, you know. Show off the chesticles, the guns, the abs coming in. <laughs> but anyway, and uh, on that same note, this rising when I got up, um, I usually have the same routine when I get up. I use the restroom um, And after I use the restroom and you know wash my hands and wash my face brush my teeth um, I go get on the scale and so in my journey just real quick a little sidebar of information I've lost over 50 pounds, right? So at my heaviest, I was 284.3 pounds, 284.3 pounds. And when the bounce back started, you know, I was discouraged. I didn't have the desire. I didn't have the motivation or the grit to keep to it because I was too busy looking at everybody else. Oh my God, this person is lifting that. This person is doing that. This person is doing that. And I was just so discouraged and just so hard to stick with it because I was at one time that person who can lift this weight and do this and do that and run and all that, you know, bouncing back from a motorcycle accident, having a large limp, all that stuff, blah, 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 whatever, whatever the case may be. So when I got to 234, that was the 50 pound mark, you know, and I said that, okay, cool. When I got out, when I saw, um, I don't know why my phone just did that, but anyway, um, I hope y'all still there. But anyway, when I got down to 232, I was I felt so good. I was like, you know what? My next goal, I'm gonna just try to get down to 225. Not try. I'm going to get down to 225, but not just for because I feel I need to lose more weight, but just to feel good and to just really hone in on my physical uh, being and all that stuff and just just do better. Continue and see how far I can push it. So I said, okay, 225. Anyway, a couple weeks ago, I shared this on one of my videos, my testimony of, Lakeisha, what's up? Um, I shared this on my video of how I was sick, like Classic Weekend, Magic City Classic in Birmingham, Alabama. I was sick, and I don't know, I think I gave myself a bottle of food poison or something like that, and um, even though this hat matches, let me take it off for a minute, because this sun is shining on me so bright. Hello, sunshine. Um, yeah, anyway, I cleaned my head, too, so want to get that shine but <laughs> so anyway back to what I was talking about so that was my first time seeing below 230 
um, that was my first time seeing below 230 since college. When I was sick, I had got down to 229, and I was like, man, this ain't how I wanted to do it. <laughs> you know, when you're sick, I couldn't keep food down. I was, you know, couldn't keep food down. Y'all know what that means. So, anyway, I, after I got better, you know how it happens. After you recover from a sickness or whatever, you eat. And you start to gain the weight back. So I got back up, I think, to about 233, 234. And I fluctuate about I fluctuate about three to five pounds on a daily, weekly basis, maybe. You know, like beginning and ending of the day because of eating and all that. So 234, I was like, no problem. I'll just get it back. Well, this rising, get on the scale after I used the restroom, 229. So after I shot back up, now doing it the right way, eating, exercising, working out hard, doing a little bit more with my cardio and being more intentional about my workouts, hit that 229 again. And that's the first time I've seen in the 220s, like I said, since probably college. Or no, 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 since I was in a state of depression in 2010. I went through, or 2011, that whole year of a state of depression, I dropped below 200, but I was just, I was, you know, I wasn't sick in terms of feeling, but it was just depression. So, so yeah, anyway, so not on my own merit have I seen less than 230 since college days. So 229 this morning, I'm just feeling this rising. I'm just feeling so good. So I'm going to keep pushing. But anyway, again, shout out to my sis, Toya, Toya Tales, get motivated with Toya Tales. This one is to love yourself first. And she has different colors and um, different colors and schemes and a different hashtag at the bottom. So go check it out, toyatales.com. So now to the next person that I tag, what's up, Melissa? I see that you spoke to me. Melissa, what's going on? So if y'all see the title of my video, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nope, nope, nope. I feel it. Y'all know, uh-uh, mm-mm. Y'all know your boy don't do no, don't do no ashy, cracked up, dry lips. And it's not that they were, but what does uh, the weekend say? I feel it coming. I feel it coming, babe. I feel it coming. I felt them dry lips coming. <laughs> so I had to stop. Hold up. I had to get the lips right. Anyway, <laughs> so Melissa, uh, I said yesterday that I got the idea for me Monday from someone on a live Instagram video, which I never get people to follow me or join in on my live Instagram videos. If you're not following me on Instagram, do me a favor and go do that. When you get a chance, go do that. It's just Mike James. Let me type that in here. Instagram and Twitter. And you know what? At one point, I was trying to be so big about getting you to follow my business page. Um, <clears throat> but just connect with me. I'll eventually you know shift you over there to my business page or whatever i just want you to have a connection with me and just be able to reach me you know what i'm saying so i'll worry about i'll worry about the rest later but if you're not following my instagram or twitter go ahead and do that because on my um twitter is where i do well usually on my business page but anyway i share it on my personal it's where i normally do um toilet devotions which is great stuff i get information out there so instagram and twitter just mike james j-u-s-t-m-i-k-e-j-a-m-e-s so i went on my instagram live and i just asked people for an idea and one of my sorrow she gave me an idea and didn't know she was giving me ideas me monday so i asked people on my video last night or yesterday for an idea for the day and melissa shout out to melissa who's on the video melissa thomas she said what about she inboxed me she said what about tenacious tuesday and i was like yes that's dope because i don't know if i ever did tenacious tuesday or thursday but i love it um and it automatically made me think think uh thought it made me think about tenacious d the band the rock band jack black's band tenacious d and the pick of destiny but anyway yeah tenacious tenacious is to grip something to hold on something to have a firm uh clasp on something that tenacious that tenacity that grit so tenacious Tuesday so I want you to be intentionally tenacious about what it is you want to see for your life I want you to be tenacious about your goals your hopes your dreams your aspiration I want you to be tenacious about getting yourself out of toxic situations relationships and environments you have to be tenacious what does that look like sometimes you're gonna to have to upset someone 
Sometimes you're going to have to make some things feel uncomfortable, uneasy in order to benefit where you're trying to go because everybody ain't for you. Listen, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. Everybody ain't for Mike and I ain't for everybody. Right? So you have to be tenacious about figuring out what it is, the right people in your life to be uh, a positive, have a positive impact on where you're trying to go, who you're trying to be, what you're trying to do, right? If it's holding you back, you have to be tenacious. You got to be tenacious about that thing, right? Everybody is not your cup of tea and you ain't everybody's cup of tea. So excuse me, if I'm not your cup of tea, go find the tea for you. As I sip my coffee, this ain't tea, but anyway, <laughs> it's a perfect moment. Tenacious Tuesday. Again, this goes along with every day. Write some things down. I was kicking it with my goddaughter on uh, Friday evening, who I'm so proud of. I called her yesterday, and I just told her, I said, I'm just so proud of you. Just for your how you think about life and how you're able to think for yourself, critically think at 14 and observe things and establish your own opinions. I said, I'm so proud of you. We kicked it, you know, Friday evening. And um, then I went back to the house and kicked it with her and her mom, my best friend. Um, and, I, you know, I was just, I was just so proud. And I was telling her the same thing I tell everybody. And it's for me as well, because I do it more, but I need to do it even more. I told her, listen, and I'm telling you this now, tenacious Tuesday on this, ten the tenacity of accomplishing the things you want write some things down write things down that may not even make sense to you write things down that you think you know all you need to know about write things down because a lot of times as long as it's in your head it's just a thought as long as it's in your head it's just a dream your subconscious cannot readily extinguish or identify the difference between real and fake is when you take that and make it real so as long as something is operating in here in your subconscious, that's why with my three W's, after you will it, that's kind of in your subconscious. You got to work and now you make it a reality. So a lot of times what happens when you write some things down, you have all these goals. When you write them down and you see 10 or diff 10 different things, you say, wait a minute, that one don't make sense. X that off. This, yes, this, that's the one because you've seen it. It's some kind of physical representation that you see and you're like wow that makes sense that's what I'm going to go after that's what I'm going to do and so that's what I want you to think about that's the first step being tenacious about it write it down over and over again I think it was Byron Allen or somebody here recently man I hate uh, confusing people that I've listened to recently but I listen to and read a lot and listen to a lot of podcasts but anyway they were saying write it down multiple E.T. Eric Thomas, Eric Thomas, the hip hop preacher, who's my mentor, he doesn't even know it. He was saying, write it down multiple times a day. You have to make that thing real for you. Write that goal down, write that hope down, write that dream, that aspiration down multiple times a day. And I was like, wow, I have to do better. I've been telling people just write it down. I, that's something I want to take. Everybody is different, right? You have to figure out what works for you. But I was like, that's something I want to that's something I want to actually adopt into my daily activities. I want to write things multiple times a day, and I'm going to do that. Um, so here's the thing, people. With Tenacious Tuesday, I want you to be tenacious. Have a grit and tenacity about what you're trying to accomplish in your life because then it will make sense to you. Then is when you'll start seeing puzzle pieces fall out of thin air. Then is when you'll start making the dots connect or the dots will connect for you. You wonder why. You wonder how. How did this happen? How did I get on this stage? How did this person contact me? How did I get in the room with these dignitaries or these people, those people? Be tenacious. Listen, that tenacity is what will get you up out of bed when you ain't got to get up. That tenacity is that what will get you in the gym when you know you won't feel like going. That tenacity is what will make you go outside and just enjoy the weather when it's raining. 
That tenacity is what will make you say, this. I don't need to eat this because it's not going to do anything for my health and my well-being. That tenacity is what's going to make you say, you know what? I'm not going to this particular place because I know that it's not going to benefit me. I think that's going to be toxic to where I'm trying to go. That tenacity is going to make you read one more book. Read one more page. That tenacity is going to make you meditate a little harder, pray a little harder, and then act on what you meditated and prayed on. Come on now. If we say faith without works is dead, then why ain't we working? Why do we think things are going to happen by osmosis? We got to get up, get out, get something. Come on, y'all. Woo! I felt that. I felt that in my being. I felt that deep down in here. That did something to me. And I realize I'm so excited because I know what 2020 has for me. Some beautiful things, man. I'm telling y'all, listen, stay tuned. If you've been watching my videos, if you've been rocking with me, I've seen certain names that are always there. Thank you so much. But I'm telling y'all, if you're not signed up for my email list on my website, go do that. P and Z for life dot com. P A N D Z. F O R L I F E dot com. Sign up from email list because that'll I'll be putting out when I go to events and do speaking engagements and different things. I'll start putting videos and more blogs and stuff on there, as well as just following me on any social media outlet. I'm telling y'all, 2020 is going to be so amazing, not just for me but for you. Because guess what? In order to be some be successful, help someone else be successful. All of you who are sharing my videos, all of you who are rocking with your boy, supporting me giving me kudos, sending me messages, helping me out like Melissa did with the topic of the day. Guess what? When I'm blessed, you're going to be blessed too. You're going to go up. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to go up because this is the thing. I want to remain that level of humility where I remember everybody who helped me and shared and rocked with me from early on. Tyra, what's going on? Hello to you as well. Paulette, Marcy, D, uh, Michael, Pamela, Cherise, my cousins, my family, my sisters and brothers from back home from the crib went to high school with me. Chase, Lakeisha, uh, Justin, Cynthia, Emmanuel. And look, a lot of people come in the video and they leave. That's okay. It's all good. I just appreciate you for your time, for your second. Look, I appreciate you for... I appreciate you for just speaking in the room, man. It makes the world of a difference for me just to see that you took the time to... I know how it is. You get that notification, so-and-so is live, right? And you click on it, and you watch, and it's like, oh, they're just staring at the camera. Or they ain't doing nothing cool. You go back out. But I appreciate you for even clicking, just stopping. So, again, wait a minute. I'm getting another sip of coffee. Woo! Again. Tena on this Tenacious Tuesday, I want you to have, I want you to be tenacious about everything that's coming your way. Listen, another thing, here we are in November. It's November 19th, y'all. We're getting ready next week. Next week? 1926. Yeah. Next week? Yeah. <laughs> next week for Thanksgiving, right? We're in the holiday season and then Christmas. Be tenacious about protecting your health. You know, enjoy, enjoy family, eat, but just at least try to watch what you eat or how much, or or if you know you're going to do leftovers and all that, because you know that's tradition, right? Eat a very small portion, and then do another thing for leftover, and then later that night, or either the next, that Friday, that Friday rising, get out and go, get, get out in the sun, put on your layers, if it's going to be cold, no excuses, and just walk around the neighborhood, take some of your family. We've done it at times in the past, but I want to be more deliberate about doing that. Take some of your family and say, let's walk around the neighborhood. Let's walk down the block and back. Talk to me. What's going on in your life? Be tenacious about protecting your mental health. You know there are situations, family members who, uh, family members who may make you feel a certain type of way, make you feel less than, make you feel like you're this, you're that, you're that. Man, psh, give them the hand. Be tenacious about protecting your energy, protecting your vibrations. Be tenacious about, listen, parents, parents, uncles, aunties. Be tenacious about not going in debt to give your children a Christmas date that you never had. Be real. I think that knowledge and instilling in them the values that will help them work on their credit and get more financial literate, all that, I think that goes way longer way than them having all these toys that they don't even care about. Or that they're going to just not use in a year or two. Especially young kids. They're more concerned with the wrappers and the boxes than they are the toys sometimes. 
So if you got it, floss it. Do whatever you do. I know. I look, I love children, man. I love children. I love every, I want everybody to win. But be tenacious about protecting yourself so you're not in January stress because you spent all this money. You know, or getting all these gifts, doing all this. Oh my God, I gotta work extra, I gotta do this, I gotta do that because Christmas is coming. Well, and still in the people lives around you all year so that now you're not just trying to do all this stuff for this holiday and I'm sorry I just got I get passionate about that because I see certain things and even my family and just growing up you know and I don't know it just hurts me y'all know sometimes I get passionate about something and I just I go in on it but again tenacity tenacious be tenacious about being the best version of yourself be tenacious about finding that bridge from where you are to where you want to go from who you are to who you want to be be tenacious about it and if you please if you would please somebody share this video for me because I think that this will be something that will help somebody something that someone needs I always get a message that says you know what I've seen your videos before, but I, 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 you know, I maybe may not have watched them or this or that, but that one you did on so and so and so and so, it really helped me. It was what I needed at that time. You know, I was going into this situation or an environment or a place. I needed to hear what you said. So, listen, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here it is again. I'm telling you, thank you so much for sharing my videos, for supporting me, for giving me ideas, for conversing back and forth with me on my videos, for commenting, for for following me for hooking up whatever you do i appreciate you i don't take it for granted and i don't take it lightly so i thank you i thank you i thank you uh here we go let's wrap this thing up murphy's law you are somebody Woo! you are somebody today you are great tomorrow you'll be great because miss murphy said so and i concur and know that the universe will align to give you what you want will and work for in that order and <laughs> you are the five C's. You're capable, competent, confident, conscious, and courageous mm, to do any and everything that you seek to do in this life and the next. You got it. And when I start incorporating more that I really like, let your power give you your passion. Let your passion ping you to your purpose. And once you plan, experience that prosperity. Prosperity not just in money, but prosperity spiritually, mentally, socially, physically, and financially power, passion, purpose, plan, prosperity. Go get it, people. Get up, get out, get something. Go be amazing. On this Tenacious Tuesday, be tenacious about making someone smile. Be tenacious about making someone feel better. Be tenacious about making yourself more healthy. Be tenacious about making yourself stronger. Mm. Be tenacious about being the best you you can be. Go out and crush it today, people. As always, know that God loves you, so do I, and I want you to what? Love life and live love, peace, together, not apart. Victory, not defeat. Unified, not divided. I can go on and on and on. I'll do a video about that one day. The symbolism behind peace, that is the peace sign. This ain't the peace sign. This ain't the peace sign. That's the peace sign. <laughs> so anyway... Um, Y'all take care, share the video, holla at your boy.